I want to show you how to use the inventory in transcend transfer transaction in Dynamics GP. There's actually two parts of it. The first one is in inventory, and in there there's an in transcend transfer entry transaction that you create first. The second part is receiving it into the new location, and that's in the purchasing area. So in the purchasing area, you go to the receiving transaction entry screen, you look up the transfer that had been shipped, receive that in, and the transfer is complete. Now let's take a look at it. The first thing to do is go into the inventory area page and go to in transit transfer entry. Here I'm going to create a transfer out of my existing location and put it into an in transit site. Now I, if I want to I can go directly to the receiving site or I can use an in transit site. I may want to use an in transit site if I'm going to just take it out of inventory and show that it's somewhere between warehouses or if I want to add some additional control so on the receiving end people only receive in what they actually got. So let's go ahead and to create an in transit transfer entry the first thing I do is hit new. That'll give me a new document and this is the site from which I'm going to ship and then I'm going to use an in transit site here and I can look that up. I've created one that's called South In and then the final site is going to be South so this is the header information for the transaction. Now let's add an item here. If I want to, I can add a landed cost group to add additional costs to this transfer. But I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'm going to transfer one item. And from that, I can print a couple of reports. I can print a printing ticket and a packing slip. Let's take a look at those. Here's an example of the out-of-the-box pick list. Here's an example of the out-of-the-box packing list. Now when it's ready to go, all I need to do is hit the ship button up here. It's going to initiate the transfer from my source location to the in transit site. So the second step then is to receive it into the destination location. So to do that, I go to the purchasing area page and go to the receiving transaction entry screen, select the type of in transit inventory. From here, I can look up the transfer number and this is the one that I just transferred. Let's take a look at that. Here, this one is shipped. I can select that. Then I select from that the items that I actually received, in this case there was one, and the quantity that I received. Then all I need to do is post that, and when I post it, it'll complete the process and add this into the destination inventory. If you want to, you can use the inventory in transit transfer entry screen and enter a transaction to transfer it directly to the destination location without going to the in transit location. To do that, you just omit putting the in transit location into that transaction. It provides more documentation with a picking list and a packing slip, and also allows you to add additional information to that transaction. So take a look at it.